going on guys welcome back today for another video um today's video we actually have our sponsor none other than auxedo led um they sent me out some reverse lights for the jeep i actually just put the same ones in the subaru so i do know they are extremely bright um guys don't slack on on these these leds man um i have plenty of friends that bought them through my uh discount code I've had some subscribers buy them and I've had some coworkers buy them and everybody has very, very good things to say about them. A lot of people say they're one of the brightest LEDs they have ever put in their vehicles. So if you guys are interested in purchasing your own set, they have every bulb for pretty much every car. You could get anything you want off their site. Um, I will leave their website down below in the description. And I will also leave my discount code down below in the description. It'll get you 15% off anything on their website. It, comes out to a pretty good deal you know if you buy a pair of headlights they're around eighty dollars but you'll get them for sixty like five sixty six dollars so it's definitely definitely worth it guys um i have their lights in pretty much everything now i put their fog lights in the subaru i put the whole front end of the mustang is their lights um i mean the front end's not on the car yet but i have all their lights for the front end and now we are slowly but surely switching over the jeep to them because I'm I'm not happy with the ones that are in the car, to be honest with you. And yeah, I just want really, really bright. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to toss these in. It's nothing new. It's a very simple install. Uh, the, luckily, the taillights on the Jeep are a lot easier than the Subaru. So we'll knock this out really, really quickly. And then once it gets dark out later, I will go over and show you guys how bright they are. Um, they pretty much are kind of like a headlight in the back of your car. They're, they're pretty damn bright. And it's crazy because they're really not that big. All right, so the first step here is going to be to open up your hatch on your Jeep. Um, they use a 3157 bulb right there. That's what you're going to want, 3157. There's two in a pack, so one pack will do both sides. This pack will run you, with with my discount code, this pack should run you about, I want to say, 14, 15 bucks. Maybe give or take a couple bucks, but it's pretty cheap. And... They're very, very good quality. So what we're after here is there's two Phillips head screws, you know, um, two on each side, obviously. One here, one down below. And we'll take those out really quickly. And the, the tail light will actually just like pop right out. There's two uh, metal clips that slide into like a plastic grommet, but you just pull out on it and it will come right out. All right, guys, so I got the screws out. Literally, this just pops right out like that. And your reverse light, at least in my reverse light, just remember I do have aftermarket taillights. So yours will have like this motherboard looking thing. Um, they honestly, they always fail on these Jeeps. So it's a really good idea just to get rid of the factory taillights. But you're just going to twist this, you know, counterclockwise. It's going to pop right out. As you can tell, these are what I have in here. And these are honestly the cheapest of cheap on eBay never was really happy with them but you know they do the job they do work but yeah these are essentially garbage so we're going to put these to the side and i will unbox the auxitos with you guys and we will put those in the uh cool part about the auxitos is they're non polaris i believe it's called so you can actually put them in either way a lot of the times leds will only work one way but theirs are not like that so you can actually just put them in and they're they're gonna work so yeah so once you open up your box here, you know, obviously just a regular old box. This is what you're going to have in your box. It's two bulbs that look like this. Now they do have different ones. I personally bought one of the brightest ones that they have. But as you can see, the top of it is actually a projector. So that's what makes these so bright. Think about it like projector headlights, right? So like new cars with like LEDs and the projector headlights, they're like insanely bright. I'm sure you guys know because you probably get blinded by them on the highway and stuff. So pretty much they essentially took a projector headlight and put it in here and then they wrapped LEDs around the whole entire thing. So this way it reflects into the housing. So these are going to be very, very bright. I have no issues backing up in my Subaru anymore. Like it's crystal clear. I do have reverse cameras on both cars. So these make a really, really nice touch because you actually see where you're going out of your reverse camera. So like I said, non-polarist. So you could just plug it in this way, that way. It doesn't really matter. Um, this will just plug right in. This is all um, like, it's like aluminum construction for the most part. So they're they're very, very nice, they're durable. 
and these will not give you issues down the road as opposed to this this will give you issues down the road these burn out and they start doing like a christmas tree flicker thing so these honestly they're just cheap don't go with those guys you just spend a couple more dollars and just get yourself a good bolt here's a quick comparison guys oh look this one's actually doing the christmas tree thing that i spoke about I don't know if you guys could tell it's flickering. You probably can't tell it on camera because it's flickering too fast. But look at how dull that is. And then look at this thing over here, man. This thing is insane. Like insanely bright. And it's it's broad daylight and it's this bright. So that should tell you guys something. So essentially, now all you're going to do is, you know, reverse order. You're going to put this back in and twist it to the right clockwise. And boom, your first one's in. Put your bolts back in your tail light and you're good to go make sure you snap in your little metal clips that go into the body right here there's actually uh only one of them so you snap it into here and everything will line right back up you put your screws in and you're good to go i'm going to do the other side off camera because you guys obviously don't need to see that and then um yeah we'll close this video out this out guys look at how dull and then boom look at how bright that shit is man so Honestly, I don't even think you guys need a nighttime comparison here. Like, this is broad daylight, and it's night and day difference. So, definitely, definitely go get yourself some. Seriously. Guys, so, I got both bulbs in. Very, very easy install on this particular car. Obviously, different cars are going to be different. Some of them, you might have to take trunk panels down and, you know, so on and so forth. I know this is nothing new to you guys. Um, I wanted to let you guys know we surpassed 600 subscribers. Finally, guys, finally. Let's keep it going. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. Really want to hit that 1,000 mark. Uh, but yeah, so please, guys, head over to Auxedo.com and grab yourself some LEDs. 15% off, discount code Dylan's Garage. Everything will be down in the description below. Guys, check them out, man. Trust me, I would not steer you in the wrong direction. Have I steered any of you in the wrong direction ever? You guys ask me questions, I give you my honest input. Please head over, check them out, grab yourself some lights. Super, super bright. You'll be nothing but pleased with them, I promise. Uh, they do last long, no issues there, good quality materials and everything like that. I wanna give a big thank you to Auxedo LED for sponsoring today's video and always working with me. They're an amazing company to work with. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's going to conclude today's video. It's a short one, guys, but that's going to conclude today's video. So I hope all of you are blessed. I hope all of you had a good Memorial Day weekend. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, guys.